people and welcome back to wedding season. This is part two of Mahadi Day. The first part of Mahadi Day was all about the negotiations. Lobola negotiations, as some of you may know, they were successful. They really went beautifully, handled by the elders, as you may know. If you haven't seen that, then definitely click on the link above. I will link the video so you can watch it and get some context. Now, it's all about part two, which is the celebrations. After all is said and done, after the Mahadi has been paid, it's time to celebrate. And with any African celebration, you have to celebrate with food and laughter and love and singing and unilating and that's exactly what's about to happen today so grab your aunties grab your mama grab your mama's mama grab your your friends your sisters everybody sit around the tv the table the tablet whatever you're watching this from and grab yourself a box of tissues because it's special and i want you to enjoy it and don't leave without subscribing you know if you enjoy this subscribe let's get into it is my niece. Uh, basically, I grew up with Copano from an age of three years when she had an incident and then, you know, she was a, she's a public girl, very energetic, those kind of things is our nature. She's, she's a star. Uh, you know what, we're looking forward to Copano having a family of her own. We're looking forward to the, to the wide wedding in, in general. And it's going to be happening. We're looking forward to meeting the family and sitting down having this day. Uh, a very uh, impressive day for all everyone the Shimange family, the Mutuane family, the Michaels family, and everything that's going to be a blessing for her. That's what it's going to be. Coming Copan to a sort of womanhood, my prayer is that uh, her marriage uh, should last long. Uh, they should have a very happy family. With me, <laughs> uh, my daughter is entering a stage in her life. That's, um, it's a happy stage. This from 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 childhood, she always says, "I'm gonna get married and have seven boys." So I don't know whether this is the start of it, but I guess so. <laughs> I guess this is the start of those seven babies, I don't know. But uh, she's always dreamt of a day. You know, you know when kids grow up, some of them would say they don't even think about getting married. Mine was very outspoken about it. <laughs> so um, I guess she, she, her wish has been granted and I'm happy for her because this is what she wanted. And I think it's happening just at the right stage of her life when she's like found herself you know um, she understands who she is 
um, she's getting into this marriage, she's matured enough to can do it. So, so I'm happy about it. You know, I would have been worried if I thought maybe she's not mature enough to can do it. But I, I think, and I know, she's ready for it. Yes. She's going to make the best of it. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing it with an open heart. I'm, really, I'm, I'm, I'm giving her to the Shimangas. And, you know, from just meeting them once or twice, I believe they are the best family she can ever get married into. And as a mother who has prayed, always to say, <laughs> you know, let her wish be granted. This is just, she, she likes being like on the spotlight. She likes, you know, she likes being out there. And when she wants something, she, she, she will tell you, this is what I want. And she'll work towards getting that. She'll put in her own effort to get in that. So. Um, and, and, and you know, in that you said, my fondest memory. It's like all her achievements has been what she has tried to do. I've been behind her just to make sure that if she doesn't get exactly that, to make sure that I pick her up and, you know, tell her it's fine. Right. To love her husband and husband without her. It's the most important thing that I wish for. Interesting. <laughs> Whether she has the seven kids or not, <laughs> as long as she's happy and she accepts that sometimes your wishes don't all come true. Some will come true, some will come true. She's happy about it. That's fantastic. <laughs> and then just prayers and wishes for her marriage moving forward. You are married. I'm married. Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know the drug. Okay. I've been married for how many years? Oh. 30. Yeah. 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 Oh. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, um, I want to ask you exactly the same questions as I asked um, aunties over there. Okay. What does this day mean to you guys? Papa is finally getting state captured. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Hilarious. <laughs> That's perfect. Yes. Yes. It means lots of food. It means lots of food. 
celebrations, celebrating um, a union, love, dressing up, merging of two, two families. families. Awesome. What's your fondest memory of her? What's that? Fondest memory of her. <laughs> Short this. Yeah. <laughs> Top of your head. Of your heart. When she won Miss Teen Oh yes. That was that was the best day. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And then just well wishes slash prayers for her marriage moving forward. We wish her all the best. Lots of babies. Lots of babies. She won seven. She won eight babies. Seven. 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 Yes. seven. seven. So she must get started. Eh? <laughs> she must get started. Not next year. Now. 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 Today. <laughs> Not <laughs> yesterday. <Nice>. Today. <laughs> Memory of Ugupan. Many, many moments. There are countless. You know, if I have to mention them, just from childhood, I, I used to take her about, just like any other child of mine. She is my child. So you know how oh, that is my child. And then, uh, Grant, what, what's your prayer and your wish over her marriage from today onwards? Oh, progress. And she must. I told her this morning that she should tell me what she is now. She's getting taking a new route. And she'll have to be very strong. And I'll always be with her. Thanks. What does this day mean to you? What's that? What does this day mean to you? This game. This day. day. The, the day. The day. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a day that God has given to me and to the family of Kupano. You know, in life, whatever you get, it's from God. The good things, all the good things is from God. So you must always pray that your things go to the right direction. Because with God, without God, you can't do anything. So I always tell Kopan and Kopan, you must be firm in your belief. So she has showed me that she has done what I've told her to do. That's beautiful. On that note, Gogo, um, what is your prayer over her marriage moving forward? My what? Prayer. My prayer. I, you know, I pray every now and again that God take care of my children. You be their leader. So without God, they will not go anywhere. So my prayer to God is that he must take their hands and move them forward. Mm -hmm. oh, that's beautiful. And just lastly, what's your fondest memory of Ugupan? My fondest memory? She's loving. She's caring. She's beautiful. Inwardly, she's beautiful. Outwardly, also beautiful. That's what I thank God for that. You know, you should be beautiful inside. Not outside, but now Kopane is tower. It's in beautiful outside and inside. That's what I I thank God for that. And I love her a lot. I realize how blessed I am to have my grandparents alive, to have their love and their wisdom and their blessings cover us on this beautiful day. They got to meet V, they got to meet his family, and they got to witness and celebrate with us. And that is the greatest blessing of all. My family is absolutely amazing and everybody's pulling their weight and everybody's doing something to make this day possible. And I'm so grateful and thankful for such an amazing family who are so supportive. So on the other side of town 
in Mahikeng. Vuyo's family is busy getting ready. They are getting dressed in their beautiful, colorful Tsonga attire, getting ready to leave Mahikeng and come to the, fa to the farm and fetch their bride. So this is what's busy going on in Mahikeng while we are busy scrambling and getting all the food ready in the farm. So now that Voyo's family has arrived at the farm, as you can see, they parked at the gate. Now, a traditional wedding is not a traditional wedding without lots and lots of singing. Our celebrations are made up of lots and lots of singing. So now that they've arrived, they're at the gate. They cannot come into the yard or come into the tent or the marquee that we've set up without singing. They have to announce themselves with loads and loads of singing. That's why you have to come with all of your family and as ma many people as you possibly can come with so that when you arrive, they can hear you singing before they see you. And that is exactly what happened. So as his family is leading him into the marquee, everybody is singing, everybody is dancing, everybody is announcing the presence of the Shimanga family to say, we are here to fetch our bride. And that is exactly what they were doing. I warn you, Lots and lots of singing.
while Vuyo's family is singing and announcing their presence and announcing that they are there to come fetch their bride, walking into the marquee, my family is also singing calling me to come out of the house and to come and meet my new family. So that is exactly what's going on. I'm busy inside putting on my makeup and getting ready while my family is singing and calling me out of the house. Like I said, a traditional wedding, a celebration is nothing without lots and lots of singing. And that's what we did for hours. We sang and we celebrated. So as I came out with my mother and walked into the marquee, this is the part where his family is singing and bringing him towards me and my family is singing and bringing me towards him. And we finally meet and the celebrations can officially begin. We can celebrate a successful negotiation and we can celebrate the successful union of two amazing people which is me and V and we can finally get going and it's so beautiful everybody looks so beautiful here's what happened
So there's an ongoing debate about how you mix African and Western culture. So the thing about an engagement ring is that it is a Western culture. It is not an African culture. We do this, we do Mahadi celebrations, we do Lobolo negotiations and celebrations, and that's how marriages happen. Um, so in between all of the African cultures, we are Christian. So there are traditions that we should follow in form of our Christianity. So things such as the church wedding still have to happen. The traditional wedding happens and the church wedding happens. So mixing of the Western, Christian and African cultures is a very interesting thing. And I truly believe that there is no clear cut line about how exactly you're supposed to mesh and mold all of these things. Everybody has their own interpretation and their own ways of doing things. So what I love about me and Voyo is that right at the beginning of our relationship three months in we knew that we wanted to get married to each other and he asked me how do you think the christian and african traditions are supposed to be meshed and i told him that i don't want to receive an engagement ring before my aunts and my uncles are informed before my elders are informed of your intentions and once you inform your elders of your intentions to get married you get married there's no informing and then you disappear you send the letter and things start rolling and which is exactly what you've seen so ideally for me i prefer to receive the engagement ring after all of this has happened out of respect for my elders since that happened successfully voya could finally present me with the engagement ring and this is how it happened the creator of the heavens the make of mankind in your own image spirit of god surround this ring holy spirit the spirit of god that was there in the beginnings of the beginnings i bless this ring my god and i give you the praise the glory the honor and the adoration in Jesus' name, Amen. Um, thanks, thank you everyone for coming here. <laughs> I'm very happy. Um, firstly, I just want to thank Kofani's parents and you raised a beautiful daughter. She's amazing. Um, I just want you to know that she makes me so happy. I feel like the luckiest person in the world. Um, thank you.
How are you today? Surviving. <laughs> surviving. It's very difficult, but I'm surviving. Right. What does this day mean to you? Look, on, on the one side, it's, uh, it's a sad day. On the other, maybe for her. Because, okay. I mean, the time has got to come that she has to go. Uh, because I'm not going to be living with her forever. She's been very, very close to me since the time she was born. Uh, even now, I mean, she, we, we talk like uh, the daughter and mother, not daughter and father. Oh, yeah. that's precious. Um, what are your prayers for their marriage moving forward from today? Look, um, since she's been in this family between my, my, my mom and myself, and we've not been married for 34 years, so I believe she, she knows what marriage is all about. The, the, the biggest thing is that if you fight, it's not the end of the wedding, of the, of the, of the, of the marriage. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Dad. I can't think about that moment without wanting to cry because it was such a special moment. It was a moment where I saw that this man respects me, respects my family, respects my culture, respects my God. And it's a moment where everything came together. And I am so happy that we decided to go about it this way because I feel as though everything happened so beautifully. I told you guys to grab your tissues. Everybody in that room was crying, was sobbing, was in tears. And that's why my eyes are constantly closed the whole time because I'm kinda, <sighs> okay. I'm happy. I'm really happy because everything happened so beautifully. We're blessed. We really are, God loves us. God loves us so much. And he blessed that day and he blessed everybody that was there. I love V with all my heart. I believe he is the man that God sent me and I'm so happy that he chose to respect my culture and my faith, my parents and my elders. So, <laughs> moving right along. Whew. Whew. Okay, let's move on. So, after all of that, this is still a celebration, right? A whole lot of things happen. I remember I always said that I want my traditional wedding to be bigger than my white wedding, which it turns out that it's not actually gonna be that way, but it was still a beautiful day. So on this day, the traditional was so beautiful. It's a traditional celebration, and it was a mashup of the Tswana and the Tsonga culture, and it was beautiful. I always said I want my wedding to be a cultural festival, and it was something like that. And that's what made me so happy. So here's what, here's a little sneak peek of the celebrations and the traditional dancing and the culture that came out on that day.
at the end of the day, it was a beautiful day. The celebrations were amazing. And I would change, I wouldn't change anything. Everything was perfect. Everything went perfectly. Everybody was so happy. And it was a beautiful day. And I cannot wait for the next phase of this wedding season because this was just phase one. One. <laughs> In the African tradition, while well, mixing everything, there's the first traditional wedding, there's the white wedding, which is the church wedding, and then there's the second wedding. So it was a Tsonga wedding, church wedding, Tsonga wedding. So that was just part one. Now we're moving on to part two. There's a whole wedding, a church wedding, a white wedding that still has to happen and so much is going to happen. So here's a sneak peek of what you can expect in the next episode as we prepare for the white wedding, which is around the corner. Mothers? <laughs> More than one. <laughs> <sighs> Till next time, beautiful people, make sure that you subscribe and comment down below. Give this a big thumbs up because I really, really love this video. Might be a little longer than expected, but I hope you enjoyed it. Mwah.